Hi all, this is Karthik. Welcome to my channel Tech Solution. Today in this video session, I will show you how to break root password in Solaris when your machine is running on Spark machine. Well, so before I gonna for practical session, let me clear this thing. Why we should go for the breaking of root password? Why we need that? Is it really mandatory to break the root password? Yes, it's mandatory. When it's mandatory, suppose take an example, you forgot password. You forgot root password. You are working as a Solaris admin, but you forgot the password on which uh, Spark machine your server is running. You forgot that particular uh, server root password. Now, for an urgent basis, you have to enter in the uh, ser service in the server and you want to perform something but first of all if you unable to enter in that particular server then how you will perform this thing you can't write first first you have to enter in the server first you have to log in in the server then only you can perform as for the requirements what user need or what client expectation isn't it but now, if you unable to log in the server, then how can you perform? You can't. You never. Right? So for this situation, we have to break the password. And there are one more thing also. Still you are working as a admin, but you are not the, you are not, you, you don't have 100% privilege. You don't have 100% Solaris uh, Spark machine uh, privilege. Okay, so you you do I, I I agree you are working as a Unix admin and you do have root access but you don't have root access hundred percent, right? It means you are working a child root administrator. You are not working as a master root administrator. You are working as a slave root administrator. So however it is, you do have root login password that privilege you do have but still you unable to log in either you forgot the password uh, and you attempt more than three times or more than five times however master admin he said and after you tried wrong password more than five times now it's not allowing to you even if you will try for the correct password it will not allow you to log in because it's blocked for you so for these cats, master admin can unlock your password. So how you will unlock your password by executing passwd hyphen u and your UID. By that he can unlock your UID. And then if you could remember the correct root login password and then you can execute and successfully you can log in. This is one case which is very rare case but most of the time in your environment in real environment what used to happen the thing is now all all human nature is not good is it not required to mention in this session but still i i i obey i prefer to mention because of people who are there who are doing this such kind of things what exactly they are doing suppose uh, there have one guy called rahul who is your colleague what, what he did, he put paper, he resigned the job and he stay 30 days of notice period. When is his last day, what he did, that stupid guy, he uh, uh, changed your root password. As he was working as a master admin, uh, he is a senior, he changed the root password and he left for the day. He left the job. Now, you got promoted to his position. Still that time you are working as a slave administrator, you are working as a child administrator. But when he left, next day onwards you are going to work as a master admin. So for that, when you are trying to log in by, the, by executing the same password, it's, it's not allowing you to log in successfully, it's saying access denied. But you sure you are trying by correct password only still unable to log in because of that stupid Rahul he changed the password for this case 
you don't know password but you have to log in the server and you want to perform some other things some of the user requirement some of the client expectation so for this case what you need to do you need to break the root password as i cannot show you the practically step by step step here because i am showing this by my laptop it's my workstation it's not belongs to spark machine but still i can give you the commands here i'll write the commands here with the description you can go ahead and do the same when you are facing this such kind of issue if you are working as a solaris admin on over the spark machine if you don't know you can follow up my videos step by step and i sure 110 percent you will be able to fix your issues because what kind of videos i am putting here i i i do have that you know i face those issues and so that i'm giving that much surety to you when you are facing the same issue if you follow up my video steps then you will be fixing the issue without any single doubt even though if you are getting any different kind of error you can reach to me you can write in the comment section else you can open my profile where i clearly mention my mobile number you can directly reach to me by over phone call you can disturb me at any time within 24 by 7 there will be no issues i know you are a unknown guy but still i will support because this is my nature you can think or this is my uh, you know pleasure you can think or this is my help you can think whatever it now the forget about this blah blah kind of things let's go ahead to execute the commands but i sure this command will not work here because of i'm showing on my workstation if you execute the same command over your spark machine it will work okay so what you need to do first first you need to there are uh, when you're working on spark machine there will be a key on keyboard called stop so what you need to do you need to press that stop and you need to press a key stop plus a key okay what is the use of this if you execute this command if you execute this command your console will go to okay prompt your console will go to okay prompt in solar is one concept is there called okay prompt why okay prompt is required that clear description i will give you in my next video session but for this time being you just keep in your mind why we need okay prompt and for what purpose we are using okay prompt because of when you are facing this such kind of issue root related issue kernel related issue wrong level related issue server hang server halt all those uh, things okay kernel panic issue uh, this core issues we can fix once we enter in the okay prompt once we enter in the okay prompt however it is we are fixing the issue in the linux because why i am mentioning about linux most of the guy they are working in linux only right so when this such kind of issue root issues run level issues kernel panic issues system is not booting system halt system hang okay when this issue is happening for linux what linux admin used to do he used to enter in the single user mode and he used to perform these things right so this is nothing but in solaris it's called okay prompt when you're working on spark mesh okay so this is all about it now first you need to execute stop a then okay prompt will come and once you come the okay prompt what you need to do you need to insert your dvd okay you need to insert your dvd how you insert your dvd there one command you need to i mean you need to boot that then only it will come to single user mode how it will be you need to give okay then boot then cd rom hmm hyphen s then hyphen hyphen here you need to give capital boot boot okay if you we'll execute this what will happen system will boot from your dvd and then it will come to your single user mode this is the first step you need to do once you have done that then what you need to do you need to execute this command called tor equal to spark tor equal to spark mesh okay what it will do it will give the it will terminate spark mesh it will be 
terminal then what you do you need to do you need to export that that termination you need to export you need to export once you export then you need to create a directory you need to create a directory anything it's up to you what you are going to create you need to rem uh, remember it when you are going to mount suppose i want to create a directory in the temp file what i'll create i'll create called abc i'll create called abc then come here i'm not executing here okay because if i execute it will not work because my server is not belongs to spark machine i'm working on vmware now what you need to do you need to mount it before mount you need to check before mount you need to check that c1 t0 d0 s0 okay for on which file system root is mounted you need to check that always it will be the same only okay so here what you need to you need to mount as temporary basis first you need to unmount here first you need to unmount or unmount root once you unmount root then what you need to do once you unmount root then you need to mount it you need to mount that's db dsk this is c1 t0 t0 s0 okay then you need to give that path in temp you create one file right into mount root here okay but into mount this uh, partition on over the abc mount point then come here after that ha make sure on root on mount is not required okay don't do on mount okay don't do on mount on spark machine but mount this uh, on the same partition mount it okay if it not happen then on mount the root partition and do it okay so now what you need to do you just need to enter vi temp abc slash temp slash abc slash etc then slash set it will not open here okay it will not open here once you come here what you need to do you need to there will be the all the password only right how it will show i have in linux or in solaris as well okay the uh, which, which are the password file shadow file only right cache etc set see all the password is there right for radha this is the password for sam user this is the password for ram user this is the password for root user this is the password okay make sure password will be encrypted format password will be encrypted format you cannot judge that you cannot understand because of it's not human readable language it's binary language which can understand only by the computer only right so make sure your password will be root colon from first colon to that colon end this is the password okay what you need to do you, this thing will show there this thing will show there once you enter vi slash temp slash abc and slash etc slash shadow okay this thing will be there so what you need to do here you just need to remove this thing from first column to till that column end you just need to remove this data once you remove this data simple come and do init 6 okay your system will boot when your system will boot after that it will ask you login and give the password so when it will ask you to login give root and give the no when when it, uh, after boot the system it will ask you to log in and they are you need to give root once you give root hit enter key so always see when you're going to log in any server okay once we execute not only root any sudo user also or any normal users also whoever password uh, uh, encrypted uh, uh, password set user once we given the user id or user id or root whatever it it's asking the password only right but here we remove the root password now it means we don't have any password right so after that we execute init 6 is nothing but system is going to reboot after re make sure when are going to reboot the system you have to take uh, approval here okay don't forget this thing you have to go for the itl process you need to uh, mention all those things why you need to reboot and all those the blah blah kind of things itl process you need to go for it you need to get up into get the approval okay whether it like 20 minutes half an hour whatever it okay you know that okay on over that server what is going on okay according to that only it will take time and it will come off right so according to that only you need to uh, you need to put everything and you need to take uh, itl approval okay once you take ITL, ITL approval only, then only you can perform it else don't touch it will impact your you know uh, it will impact your performance okay don't reboot 
at any situation any server first of all you have to go for the itl process take approval uh, do change management take approval all those kind of things then only you can go ahead for the rebooting process okay else don't go don't ahead okay however it is once you remove this password from here and then reboot, reboot this password once you reboot it will ask you to log in this uh, server right it will give the username give username root and hit enter key once you hit enter key it will not ask you further password because of you remove the password now you don't you you have passwordless user so password is not there then system will allow you to log in the successfully once you log in the successfully you can execute passwd and hit enter key okay hit enter key if it hit enter key it will ask you the new password and the retype password according to you which password you want you can set and once you set the same password you need to put in the inventory list and also uh, put in your uh, group mail so that your all the colleagues would be out of that so when it's required for uh, them anything to log in in that particular server and to perform they can easily log into that uh, by console uh, and then they can perform that uh, as for the user and uh, uh, client expectation right so this is all about password breaking on spark machine in solaris okay so when you're facing this issue please follow up my videos and i sure you will be able to fix your issues that's all about this uh, concept uh, thanks to watching my videos thanks to uh, this this more much follow up and uh, thanks to sharing my link to in your friend circle and whoever needed okay so if still uh, anyone did not subscribe my channel please subscribe it so for that when i'm putting new videos or new uh, tax solutions okay which is required in your day-to-day -day activities okay you will get pop-up message and uh, out of 24 hours if you have that 20 minutes or 30 minutes free you can watch my video so for that according to that you can uh, be prepared when you're facing for the same issues right and also i'd like to request you to please like and share my link in your friend circle so however it is have a good day that's all about today's uh, session how to break root password when somebody changes in your uh, solaris server and the same server is running on spark machine bye